Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full face tutorial shopping my stash. I did one of these recently. I really liked doing it. I liked just pulling things. I feel like this is a time where I can pull things that maybe are limited edition, but you guys already have in your stash and you wanna know, you know, another tutorial using them. And I just think this is fun. I just really like doing this, so I think I'm going to keep this in a series on my channel, maybe two or three times a month. You guys just let me know down below what you're thinking, if you're liking this, if you're not liking this, just let me know. And if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. I will have all primers listed in the description box. I'm going to start off using this foundation from Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter, and I'm in the shade number 190. It's been a hot minute since I put this on, so I thought I would give it a go. I always put the majority of the coverage on my cheeks and then I work towards the middle and then the very least goes on my forehead. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I don't have my shade in this currently, so I'm going to take Light One Chantilly. This one is too light for me. And then the Custard, this is Medium One. I can wear this during the summer, so I'm just going to mix these two. And this is Adelium 938. I'm going to apply the light shade first. And then right on top with Custard. It's been a hot minute since I've been this matte as my base. I'm going to have to open up a new Becca Under Eye Brightening setting powder because I just ran out of my other one. That's how much I use it. Delium 785 and I'm going to set my under eye and right around my nose area with that powder. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with Patrick's powder from MAC Cosmetics. You can also use uh, the Cover FX powder if you don't have this one. Delium 974. Again, I put the majority of the powder on the lower parts of my face and then I just take the excess on my forehead and nose. And then I'm going to bronze using this Pure Glow Together Bronzer. This is what she looks like. And the Zoeva, what number? 127. Now I'll just take a little time out and get the bronzer out of my hair. If anyone's wondering how I do that, because I literally get just a line in my hairline, I just take a wipe in my finger and go against the grain and then downward. And I, I can usually get the majority of the bronzer out of my hair. <laughs> For my blush, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution blush in Nude. And this is a Linda Harburg 310. I'm gonna be playing in a little bit of color on my eyes, so I thought that I would pick out a colorful highlight palette. I'm gonna go in with the Aurora from Anastasia, and I think I'm gonna take Eclipse on a Linda Hallberg 306. I was gonna go in with one of the more colorful ones, but I'm not sure of the eye look I'm going to do yet. So I thought that, like the little pink shift was just safe. <laughs> Now I'm going to go back in with that 974 and I'm just going to buff. And the reason why I'm doing this first is because I'm going to be using a powder that has a lot of shimmer to it. And I don't want it all over my face, so I want to make sure I smooth out any harsh lines before I go in with that powder. Most of you know, if you watch my channel, I'm obsessed with my glow powders, like any kind of radiant powder, whether it's pressed, loose, anything, I love to buff on the end of my foundation routine. And I've really fallen in love with this one from Giorgio, um, Giorgio Armani. This is the pink highlight one. There's one that's a lighter, too light for me, and then there's a bronzier one. Those both have the radiance to them. But I was going through my collection and I remembered this one from MAC. This is less than half the price I think. It's $28 and this one is called Gold. It is the MAC Studio Finish Face Powder and I checked it is on the site so I wanted to show you guys this one 
And you can see here, like it's almost a highlight. <laughs> you could use this as a highlighter, but I'm gonna use it and buff it on my skin in targeted spots. I'm gonna use my Wonder 2 Kabuki, and I'm just gonna tap in here, and get a small amount. And this will certainly work for deeper skin tones as well, whereas that pink one is not gonna do it so much. I'm gonna start on the outskirts and then bring it on my forehead. Do you see the glow? But this time it's a golden glow instead of it being pink. If you do not like glitter out in the sun, because it does have like those little micro glitters in there, you're not gonna like this. It's very radiant, be warned, but I love to do this. Keep this powder off of your pores though. If you have pores texture, keep it away. <laughs> Now I'm going to spray my face using my Josie Moran Nirvana Hydrating Mist, and then we are gonna move on to eyes, and I'm using the Kat Von D Pastel Goth. Clementine and a Linda Hallberg 304. I'm gonna use this in the crease and then work it up as a transition shade. This is like one of the prettiest peach shades that I personally have in my collection. I think it's so gorgeous. I am gonna bring this shade up pretty high. Just taking my time and working with it, building it up as I go. My camera stopped recording, I don't know why, but I'm putting the Clementine right underneath the lower lash line as well, and this is a Wayne Goss number 20. Delium 776 and boom. I'm gonna work this on the outer corner first and then into the crease about halfway, and I'm gonna build this shade up. Just tap, tap, tap to place it, and then work the excess into the crease. I'm gonna angle my brush up a little bit and smoke out this outer corner just a hair. Sonia G Builder 2 and Meow. I'm gonna pop this on the center portion of the lid. If you don't have this brush, just use like a MAC 239, 242. Any kind of packing brush will work. I'm just testing this one out, so I wanna to continue to use it. Just take that color all the way up to the crease. You can go back in and touch up the blue. Same brush, opposite side, I'm taking Star. I wanna pop that on the very inner corner. Be careful when you are merging the colors together. Don't overlap them too much because you can change the color. I feel like I've lost a little bit of Clementine, so I'm taking a clean 776 and I'm just dusting that right around the edges. Lower lash line, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Meow on the front half, and then Doom on the outer. I went back and forth with this because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to overpower that purple. I just want it to connect to the outer corner. And then a little bit more of star right at the front lower lash line. I'm gonna take a Linda Hallberg Flash Crown in Atria Flash. I'm gonna line the top and then add some to the bottom and in the inner, inner water, water line. <laughs> I can't spit it out. And I will be right back. So I decided I wanted to wear some lashes too. I just, I don't know, something fun and flirty and fluffy about it. So I kissed Ritzy Lash, popped those on, didn't do anything else, and then on my lips, I went ahead and lined them. I use a MAC Edge to Edge. I filled them halfway in as well. I used to wear this liner all the time. And I'm gonna go in with Truffle Tease because I don't want my lips to be this pink, so I'm gonna add a nude on top and kind of balance it out. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.